Now, just now, I've shown you alkene reaction, addition with hydrogen. Next up, we are going to show you addition of alkene but with halogen. Now, you still remember halogen is from which group of the periodic table? Yes, you are right. Group 7, brilliant answer. Now, we have fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. F2, Cl2, Br2 and I2. For this part, I'm going to choose Br2. And I'm going to explain to you in a short while why. But of course, let, use, let, let us use one example. So, the first example I'm going to use is ethene. So, let's draw out ethene. Ethene is monkey eat. So, it's 2C. 1C, 2C. And what makes alkene special? Let's recall again, it's your double carbon bond. So, double carbon bond, H, 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 and H. Plus a Br2. The double carbon bond will open up to become a single bond. Now, single bond, and you will take in and write out your Br. So, first step, copy the same thing down. Like I mentioned, your double carbon bond will now open to become a single bond. Extend, extend, and you attach what? Br here and another Br here. And this is called what? You have two bromines. So it's, this is called di bromo monkey eat. E, ethane or ethene? Ethane, A N E. Why? Because they have all become what? Single bond. All right. Now let's move on to the next example. Now I have, I'll go through with you ethene. Why not we try? Propene, monkey E proper. So there are three C. So let's draw propene. And three C, one C, two C, three C. Does it matter where I put my double carbon bond? No, it doesn't. But <laughs> it's important to remember that you only can put one set of double carbon bond. One set. Extend. One carbon got four lines. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three. H, H, H. Same thing, I will add a Br2. Huh. Now, I want your eyes to be on the double carbon bond. Okay? So watch carefully. Okay? Watch. Don't miss this out. Alright? Double carbon bond. H, H, H. Yes, I'm copying everything as per normal. I didn't make a mistake. There is a double carbon bond here. Like I say, the double bond will open to become a what? Single bond. So, I'm going to clean the double bond here away. And extend it down one line and another line. And I will insert the Br here. Br. Br. And now I become a what? This is called di bromo. It's not propene anymore, it's pro pain. Why? Single bond. Okay? Now, this part I want you to watch carefully. Many a time, the question will be given and they ask you to choose the correct answer. And they will say that, oh, instead of putting the BR here, many times they will put the BR at this side here. Watch. And this is your H. This is wrong. Why? For addition reaction, you must remember, you only add at where the double bond is. The double bond is shared between two carbon atoms. So you cannot put two Br at the same carbon atom. It doesn't make sense. So it must be side by side and next to one another over here at this side. Can you see? So the correct answer, like I showed you just now, should be the Br here. And the Br here at this side. It is shared between two carbon. So, if any case you saw the two B, the Br instead of sharing between two, is shared between just one, then remember that's not the answer. So, 
Do you notice also when I use addition of halogen? This is very similar to one of the reactions that we went through just now with alkane. Alkane also has something like this with halogen, but it's not addition, it's what? It's substitution. So, what is the difference? Well, alkane need light, but alkene doesn't need light. So right now, I'm going to show you a video to show the difference between them.